2022 was a huge year for NX, and we're back at it today to go over our 2022 year in review. Now, if you're a fan of NX and want to make sure your 2023 is awesome, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because as you'll see in the rest of this video, we're really starting to pick up our acceleration, and you're not going to want to miss a single update in 2023. And if you're not a fan yet, be sure to check out NX.dev to find out more about NX, or check out the compendium of links in the descriptions below to learn more about any individual items we discuss in this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back into our 2022 year of review, starting with our launch of the monorepo.tool site. This site came about because we noticed a significant uptick in interest in monorepos, particularly in the JavaScript area. So we launched monorepo.tools as a way of sharing our knowledge gained over the past five years of running what is now the most used monorepo tool, according to NPM download statistics. In addition to things we've learned about the monorepo space, we've also opened up the site to other monorepo tools to allow for comparisons between which features are offered by the various tools. Be sure to check it out at monorepo.tools or see the description below for a link. Since we mentioned NPM downloads, NDX had a monster year in 2022, climbing from roughly 1 million downloads per week at the start of 2022 to reaching over 3 million weekly downloads by the end of 2022. Another big accomplishment for NX in 2022 was taking over stewardship of Lerna in March. Lerna has been the true original monorepo tool in the JavaScript space and is still currently the number two JavaScript monorepo tool per npm downloads. When we saw a notice that Lerna was being deprecated, we reached out to offer to take over the project given our experience with open source monorepo tools in the space. Since the acquisition, we've launched two major releases in Lerna, version 5 and version 6, redesigned the Lerna website and docs, and have included the option to enhance Lerna with features from NX like task caching. In 2022, NX also hosted two conferences, the remote NX Conf flight in April, and our first in-person conference in Phoenix, Arizona in October. Both of these events were a huge success from our vantage point, so be sure to check out the links to the recordings available in the description. At the start of 2022, NX was completely bootstrapped, and most of us engineers at Narwhal were working 80% of our time on consulting for larger companies that were using NX, with the other percent of our time allocated to working on our internal projects. However, in November, we completed an initial round of funding, raising 8.6 million dollars with our newest partners, Nexus Venture Partners and Andreessen Horowitz, or A16Z for short. With the new funding, we've been able to launch two significant NX releases in 2022, and we expect to see significant acceleration into 2023 as we become able to allocate more of our existing engineering resources to NX and bring new engineering resources on board as well. To highlight other NX improvements from 2022, we were able to rework and improve our documentation site. We improved NX's speed from 2021, increased increasing its lead as the fastest build tool available in the JavaScript space per our benchmarks, and since taking over stewardship of Lerna, we've been able to get Lerna on the same order of magnitude of speed as NX. We significantly improved our terminal output for NX, especially when running multiple tasks concurrently. We added support for creating your own local and published NX plugins and workspace presets. We also added support for module federation for both React and Angular projects. We made some massive improvements to the NX Console VS Code plugin, including NX Console surpassing 1 million downloads this year. We added support for package-based and integrated styles of monorepos. We made NX adoption much easier with the new NX init command. We added standalone application support for non-monorepo projects. We added support for Vite with the new first-party plugin. And we added a new NX watch command for NX info and file watching. That's it for 2022. We're looking forward to taking y'all with us into 2023, and we can't wait to make 2023 even more epic than 2022 has been. I can't wait for y'all to see what comes next. So until 2023, keep working hard, and we'll see you next time.